What is going on everyone? This is DK Magician and I welcome you to another series. This time the game I'm bringing you is a mobile weapon. It's another flash game from my childhood, which I definitely enjoyed when I was a child. And I hope you will be enjoying the next series. Now, this is another RPG, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, this has some uh, premium content as well, which I never really ever found online. But yeah, we don't really need it, I guess. Let's get started. Once in a place far, far away, there existed a world of many wonders called Sius. Sius was a world that differed very much from ours, simply because of the lives of its inhabitants who were touched by the ancient technology known as mobile weapon, or moles for short. Moles were machines reassembling robots, and the only the one really interesting characteristic they had is that any person equipped with necessary skills would be able to pilot them. Over time, mobile weapon technology penetrated all aspects of the life of CU, so people used it pretty much everywhere. But one piece of ancient knowledge was being lost through many generations was how multi how mobile weapons were discovered. This was a secret that would greatly affect the life of a particular pilot. The pilot whose mentor was the great Ronald Powell, blah blah blah, oh, I couldn't catch it all. Uh, our story begins in the tiny grotto. Yeah, I guess that was it. Episode 1. So I'm a boy, and obviously I will be called DK Magician. Start. Well, we're here. You know, I really don't want to babysit you today. Oh, come on, Kali, I'm the one being trained, not you. And you don't hear me whining. Or whining. Besides, you wouldn't be doing this if Ron didn't twist his ankle. He can't train me today, so he picked you. After all, you are my senior. <clears throat> In more ways than one I might have. Right, you're older in age too. Hey, that wasn't what I meant, and you know it. But it's a fact. Fine, fine, let's get to your training. Let's... Okay, DK, before we begin. Do you think you need a refresh course on piloting the mole? Uh, no, I know how to play. So, are you ready? Let's do this. Uh, it's just a uh, <laughs> So, basic control. This is the menu. Uh, you can order him to attack, defend, uh, use items. This is the item you are going to use if you click use, use item. Or if you click wait, you wait uh, and the other person that is ready to attack, uh, attacks. Uh, also, if you let it reach 125, you have access to his ultimate if you already have it. Uh, if you want to pause the game, you can just click attack and this screen is actually, uh, the game is paused when you are waiting to select a target. And you just click in your target. And pretty much it. This is just a training dummy, just wait. And you have to wait until your your turn uh, restarts by when this bar, bar is 100%, you just attack. Pretty simple controls for a pretty simple old flash game. But yeah, very simple, easy to understand, but I'll say it has quite hard to master. You'll see why. Or maybe not. <laughs> nice work. Oh, that was nothing. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable, there's more. We'll move on to leave targets. Do you need to know about advanced combat techniques? No, thank you. Okay, take, let's take down to that swarm of deer flies. Where? Over there. I can see... Oh, here they are. Yeah, monsters are... Like, some of them are robots or uh, robot par robot parts, I guess. It's a kind of a machine world, I would say. That's part of the lore, it's part of the interesting part of the game. There you go, easy. We got the gear, very nice DK, you did pretty good. Why thank you! And now for the final phase of today's training, which is... Navigate your way out of this growth room, simple as that. You might encounter a couple more gear flies along the way. Should be fun, says you. Also, you can use, like, the directional buttons, or, oops, or you can click the places you want to go. 
people will navigate around the map. And the first mission that we have is just simply leaving this way. It will be easy, I would say. <laughs> However, before leaving, we are going to do some robbery. Now, Callisto starts with a nice rifle, and I start with a very crappy weapon. I was wondering if we could swap this Callisto, and also give me your armor. Thank you, thank you. Now, each equipment has its own, uh, own uh, requirements, and uh, Callisto's equipment requires 12 accuracy. So we're just going to invest everything in accuracy, and we need to level up once in order to be able to actually steal her weapon. I know, it's not a good thing to do. It's not good to steal people, okay? I don't do this in real life, but it's just a game, okay? Don't, don't take me too seriously. <laughs> But yeah, it's a good start of the game. You just take her weapon away because it deals just so much damage than your like current weapon, and you can also crit if you're lucky. So the first thing we're going to do is level up to level two. You can also cut grass, and if you're lucky, you may uncover treasures. You get a repair kit here. So yeah, let's just fight a few of these guys, and hopefully not too many of them. And we level up to level 2. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Yeah, let's cl clean stuff. Let's see if we're lucky to find treasure. Can we be lucky, please? Please? Come on. Wish I could fight two of these at the same time. Not just one. There we go. Alright, that was quick. I'm level 2, so I'm going to put one point in accuracy. And you give me this. I take this. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. And thank you very much, Kalisto, for your nice weapon. Next point I'll say, let's just put one in reflex and one in technique, why not? And now what will happen is that I will use her rifle instead of her. But I would say that is enough for this starting simple mission of getting the hell out of here. So we're actually getting the hell out of here now. Yeah. She does more damage than I do, however, even with the crappy weapon, because she has more technique. Um, I haven't explained it to Manu. Uh, you can see your uh, Mau equipment and your own equipment here. You can see that my character has like he has clothes which is good is normal i guess uh Kalisto does have clothes as well <laughs> but you can actually keep, keep clothes that have good armor and stats not necessarily armor but stats uh, basic stats of this game reflects well you just scroll it over and it just says what it does evasion chance of hitting enemies because some enemies has have high reflex so if you have good accuracy you actually hit them technique increases damage defense reduces damage for enemies obviously hit points excess self-explanatory energy how fast you can recharge your uh, like uh, your 100 percent and be ready for another attack and capacity won't be needed right now but uh, stronger weapons will require a bigger capacity and uh, this is our inventory and yeah, here we can we keep stuff, we can actually keep equipped weapons if we really want to. But I would say we don't really need to. Uh, yeah, let's just click. Uh, red arrows means exits. Alright, this is it. We're done. We're done. The end of today's training session. Finally! Oh, come on, you don't make it sound it was like that bad. Don't you want to be a great mobile weapon pilot someday? Yes, I do. Ha! That's the spirit. Anyway, all I want to do now is go back to the slump on my bed. And let's not forget I have to help out in the garage tomorrow. Be whoop, I was to do that all the time when I was under run. Just be glad you don't have to do bridge maintenance like just like me. Bridge maintenance? Yeah, you know the one at Enzo's Endless Forge? I have to service it every few months or so. Oh, those shoes of yours. I don't want to be them in them tomorrow. Told you. Now, come on, let's get out of this grotto and go home. 
right, you go on your way, I go mine. So that's a see you later, Kalisto. And so DK finally returns to Tequila Village. Ah, that was certainly tiring. Hope I'm able to get up early tomorrow. So he's going to sleep. Arrgh. DK, wake up! Oh, Ron, I'm sleepy. Go ahead and freshen up. I'll wait right here. Ah, fine. Toki, you're going to forget about helping me in the store today. Now, now, would I ever do that? Would it be the first time? <laughs> so, what's up today? First things first, I need to get some parts. With my ankle twisted, I can't do that. So, they're going to do that for me. Wait, 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 don't tell me, those parts can only be found at the scrapyard. That's right, you have to go to the Great Tiki Jungle to get there. Now, I know you're worried about regaining machinery there, so I suggest you use your mobile weapon. Yay! Glad to see that you're so enthusiastic about it. Anyway, your mobile weapon will be a big help if you run into any trouble at the scrapyard. What are the parts set for, anyway? We'll worry about that later. later. Now, you go and help me. We're going to the garage right now. Now your Luna seems to be in good condition. Luna is just a model of uh, my mobile weapon, which is that yellow one that you can see on the screen. Can I use one of the others instead? No! no! You just use yours. Besides, most of the others require some additional stuff before they can be used. Okay, okay, I use mine. So, now about us, those parts. I needed to get me 5 gears, 3 gear bolts, and 1 polyboard. Here, I'll put it in a list for you. Easy enough out of the task for you? Leave it to me, Ron. Okay, let's exit. And... Uh, yeah, this is the city, you can talk to people here. Uh, I think you actually have to click. Yeah, okay. I hope to travel somewhere else. Yeah, you don't even deserve an avatar, Claire. You suck. You are an NPC. <laughs> In the end, you can talk to the owner or the Donna. Donna supposedly is a lady that doesn't like to work. <laughs> Reminds me of other people. <laughs> anyway, hi DK. Hey Donna, wait a second, are you supposed to be at work? It's my day off, it's always your day off. Oh come on, it's not always. Usually. Elisa must be pretty frustrated if you constantly go thing off like that. Oh, don't worry about that. Say, you want to take a shot of getting guessing my last name today? You're really good at changing, changing the subject, are you? Maybe later, Donna. Okay, later then. I actually want to guess your name. Oh, you're back. I'd like to take a shot of guessing that name of yours. Hehe, <laughs> this will be interesting. Of course it is interesting. Your name is Drew. Huh? Wait a second. Better luck. I'm pretty sure it was Drew. Oh. Drew. Oh, you can't put a big D. <laughs> Guess he doesn't like big Ds. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's unbelievable. Just for that, I'm giving this full share from our shop. Well, thanks, Don. You got the full share. And the hair shop is this clothes shop right next to. So you talk to Elisa's. Elisa, let's talk to Elisa. Talk to Elisa. Hello, I would like to use this washer. Okay, she gives me a pair of googles. Goggles or googles. Yeah. And you can just apply this and you get even more accuracy. How do I know that this is uh, her last name? Well, experience, I've played this before. Also, you can get a chat somewhere where she gives you a receipt. And see the receipt is her name. Uh, it's a very stupid thing. Or you can just search it online, just like you did by searching the, this video. And she says she's Drew. Anyway, now we're all alone. Uh, enemies in this part of the jungle are very easy though. Especially for a rif rifle, we should be able to kill like all gears like extremely easily. And the scrapyard is very close, it's just two screens away. Let's see. Here is two deep jungle range regions, which are very, really very dangerous. And here is the scrapyard, which is our objective. Let's go over there. Uh, in these machines, you can uh, save your game. You can also save your game in uh, the safe areas. 
uh, let's create a new save and it will be DK1. Okay, we turn the game. And uh, let's explore this stuff, shall we? Now, this is a very ominous music. It's like dead machinery. Also, this guy is much stronger than uh, Nicole Gear Fly. Uh, we need to find a few of those, however, because uh, they drop the. Uh, they drop a part of parts that we need from uh, the Ron's mission. There we go. Easy stuff. Eh, hey, Gyrobolt, it's what they drop. I will say that the drop rate is pretty high in this game, so you shouldn't really have any trouble. Um, yeah, this might seem annoying, but we really need more of these encounters. We need to get uh, these parts, and we also should try to level up if we can. Because uh, right now we are like just leveling, which is a low level for what we actually have to do. So there you go. Another gear, another gear of bolt. If I recall, it's five gears. Oh, it's broken. Oh, but you can read here. Three gear bolts, one polyboard. Okay. Now, wearables, you are now already know where they drop. Uh, gears as well. Polyboard, however, drops further in this place. In a very, like, further in the game. Further in this place, I mean. This is another enemy here. It doesn't really drop anything valuable, but I would say that this one is probably the one that gives you the most XP. Also, it's the one that definitely deals the most damage, so that's not nice. This guy generates really slowly. You kind of have to wait a little bit until until you're ready to attack. I also drop a ceramic plating, so I shall be able to pay at least two backer plating. If I see her again, if I see her again. Oh crap! That sounded really bad. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, do you, do you love to, do you like to hear me singing? I bet you do. It's, this is why I listen to these videos after all, it's because of my wonderful, beautiful voice that I have. And not because of the place for itself, it's like, the voice is what matters. I have a very sexy voice. Well, do I? I'm pretty sure I do. That's at least what, least I, what I've been told. Croc, clock, crawlers drop. Yeah, doesn't say the whole sign. I guess this game is a little bit broken. But it's kind of weird. I, I've already played it before and it worked perfectly. So maybe it, I hope that just the text are broken and the rest is this fine. I think so. At least the game is working fine except for the text, text so far. Die, don't attack me, thank you. And wait. Ah, it's boring to have to wait until this refresh. But you can actually improve that, and I'll say I will probably do that very soon. Nice critical. Aerobolt, repair kits. I don't have enough money though. I was thinking, you can actually buy generators that generate energy faster. And uh, Ron sells equipment at his base, like at his garage. And I can actually buy a generator from him. So I actually earn more energy and clear battle faster. Because I really need to grind a little bit, just a little bit in the beginning of the game. Yeah, got another of these dudes. And it's a bit annoying to have to wait until this thing refreshes. Well, on the other hand, if I see how I have to grind too much, I can always just like edit the video and have to just end 
or the grinding session. I would say that no one really likes grinding. There you go. We're still exploring though. Uh, this is actually a, like a secret region in this place. Oh crap. I might have to use recovery now. These boys still take a while to die. Oh. I would rather use recovery outside of battle though. So I don't really need to waste a turn and take more damage in return. Yeah, but we're getting really low. I'll just do the recovery after... after I... Uh, I end this, uh, this fight. Just 27 HP, we're really low now. Okay, there you go. Oh! Never mind, I leveled up. Oh wait, when I level up I don't turn the HP back, I don't buy these. Let's just use one of these, we can recover 30 HP, which should be enough for now. Let's put the two points in Reflex and one in Technique. And why? Because uh, this guy requires Reflex. I def he definitely does. Repair kits, okay, nice. Also some gear flies. These are nice as well, I, I would say. Uh, you know, even after after using the um, like, you may think that we are just wasting time fighting these guys here, but we actually require uh, these gears that they drop uh, to augment our mobile weapon. And I'll show you the augmentation screen soon. Which is basically you just increase your ma maximum HP. Might have this is another recovery. Which is not very good, but well, if we need it, we do it. You may be noticing. Uh, that we deal a little, just a little bit more damage than before. Come on, boy! Stop resisting the inevitable. There you go. Got another repair kit, which is nice. If we invite a lucky, we may be able to loot them from these patches of grass as well. Uh, one more important thing, if you wa want to grind, you might preferably do that at night, and if you want to explore, you might want to do it more during the day, because at night the encounter rate is higher, and uh, yeah, you can see that I just walk a bit and we just have another encounter, and during the day that doesn't happen as much, you won't find that many enemies. But well, since we need to level up, uh, or because I want to need to level up, uh, it may not be a bad thing that we actually have to fight more enemies, I would say. Oh, shi 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 this is not good, this, this is not very good. Uh, I didn't really want to use these many recoveries so early in the game. But yeah, I guess it's better to use recoveries than to die. Let's just beat this guy into another recovery. I can use them in battle if I really need to, but... It is as I say, I will take more damage than I don't really need to. So let's just use a repair kit now. A small one. 37 HP. Should be enough to navigate out of this place, or so I hope. Should be. Should be, maybe. And these enemies are weaker. In the inner regions of this place is where you find the strongest enemies. And that makes sense, I guess. And in most games it's like that. Harder enemies, like further in the place. Oh. 
Okay. A guy revolt in the gear. Let's hopefully be able to leave the place. Just gear flies. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Very easy. Muy fácil, as I would say in my mother language. Nice. And now I have, have some nice cash. Now you can repair your mobile weapon here if you really need to. Let's just save, by the way. Okay. Now. However, we are not going to repair here. I'll actually teach you a trick. Now, you may have noticed that you pay 20 credits to repair your mobile weapon in those machines. You can also repair here for 5 credits, or you can do something else, which I often like to do. You just bring a gear, you bring some credits, and uh, when you click Augment, you gain ma maximum HP, but also run restores your mobile weapon for free. That's how you don't spend 5 credits. Aha! Now let's have a look at this shop as I said. Now this is the stuff he sells. Uh, if you click haul it shows all you have. Uh, but yeah, he sells some armor and some melee weapons which I'm not able to use right now because this requires 9 reflex and 7 accuracy. But I'll say that I'm happy with my current weapons, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. What I really want to buy, however, is a generator. And I unfortunately don't have enough money for the second model, so let's just buy one. And let's leave. And I'll just equip it. The place for generator is here. And look at the differences. It increases uh, capacity and also energy. So, with more energy, you are able to regenerate your turn faster, as I ever said previously. So, let's just save. There you go. And now, hopefully, you'll be able to notice the difference when enemies appear. Like now. Yeah, it generates a little bit faster. The next model is a little bit better, but yeah, I don't really have enough money for that. It's a lot of crits though. That's really nice. I think it's just 10% if I recall. Let me see. Yeah, 10%. With a 20 hit bonus, I'll say that it has a chance of dealing more 20 damage. Which is about the damage of a crit, I guess. Now let's... Let's continue exploring this stuff. We have already discovered like a secret region here, uh, but uh, we are yet to explore some of it. Exploring at night also means a lot of encounters though, <laughs> as you can see right now. Nice crits. Not even enough to destroy this guy. This guy is really bulky. There you go. Easy. Let's go. Try to go to the inner parts of this place. More enemies. Eleven. It seem to be about of double. I don't really know. Okay. This guy didn't get to attack. Haha, <laughs> poor guy. And I wish to have a little bit more technique so I can actually deal more damage. Got another fight here. These guys are nice. Now, you use gears in Run Shop, but later in the game, these uh, gyrobolts that these guys drop are also very important. So you'll need them as many as you can get your hands to. Okay. 
path is actually pretty straightforward. It may be look, looking for like a small labyrinth, but you just go in like on your uh, right side of the screen to go to the inner regions and find harder enemies. I feel we already grinded a bit, so we should be leveling up very soon. Got the gyro bolt and the repair kits. Nice. How many gyro bolts do we we even have? It's yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to need way more than that, but yeah, that's nice. I'd say, I guess. Now we have reached the last part of this place, which is this screen. When you see a repair uh, station, it can either mean it's either an entrance to a place. Or maybe the dungeon is too long, or maybe you're close to a boss. Take a guess which one you think it is in time. I mean, I think it's the best. Bees! Haha, <laughs> that's why you can reflect. Say bees! But I really wanted to level up. Really, really. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder how much experience we need until we reach the next level. Oh, let's see how much it is. By the way, you can check here. Oh, four, four more experience points for level 4. Yeah, let's just walk a little bit here and we'll get to level 4 when we get our next encounter. Like, yeah, this guy's enough. Come on. There we go. Got the Gyro Bolt and we reach level 4. Now, as I said, the winning formula is to reflex on one technique, but I want to do the opposite this time. I want a little bit more technique so the next fight is faster and a little bit easier because I probably won't be able to dodge anything. So let's just repair, let's save, and let's get to the next screen. Where is this guy? Here, with the, like, oh, crap. Well, there should be no fights here, like, I just repaired my mobile weapon, so I should preserve my HP. You guys don't respect me. You two. You two are bad boys. You don't even have a face, it's just, it's just too old for your eyes, and that's it. You are bad. That's why you died. Haha. Go. All right. Let's see what it says here. Do not disturb the machines. Oh, of course I won't disturb them. What do I look like? Stupid. I won't disturb the machines. So, unknown entity detected. This is Avenger Epki 1 model, model 235, programmed for scrap disposal. Entity shall state its business. I'm here to collect parts. I represent the Scrap Collectors Union, or are you the boss? This doesn't answer his question. This means that I'm a, the, a stealer, so. I represent the Scrap Collectors Union. <laughs> yeah. My business. I represent the Scrap Collectors Union, Union, and I'm here to make you an offer. Error, error, nonsensical data correcting. Okay, maybe I should have said that. Roddy, it doesn't matter what you say. You will fight you anyway. <laughs> But I think this is the funnier screen, so I just pick this one. So this guy deals more damage. 
but it's quite constant damage, I would say that only if you are very stupid you will lose this fight. But you never know, maybe you're stupid. <laughs> or maybe I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I'm not stupid. Nice critical boy. I think this guy has around like 200 HP. If we're lucky and get, get a few crits, this fight will be very easy. If not, well then, bad luck. Just seven. Come on, what the hell, boy, you can do better. Ouch. This guy still dealt more damage this time. I guess he doesn't like the fact that we're hitting him. Oh. We're actually quite low on HP now. <laughs> Maybe I should go to underestimate this guy. I'm trying to see if. Oh, nice! Nicely dodged. Nicely dodged. As I would say, I was trying to see if I could beat this guy without using recovery speeds. Maybe that's not possible, I don't really know. Nice critical, nice critical, really nice. We're getting low, as I said. If we, if we get to 30s, I will just use recoveries. If we don't, like below 30s, not 30. Any miss? Miss, please miss. Ah ha 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 ha! There you go. You know you're being recorded for YouTube, so that's why you are nice. Ha <laughs> Can you miss again? No. Okay, that's just recovery. That's not right. That's not good for luck now. There's no need to. Let's see if we could have beaten this without using recovery. We will have 13 HP now, I guess. We'll be close. And we will be dead! <laughs> okay, I'm glad I used the recovery. And the chassis of this derelict could come in handy. I might as well bring it to run. Now you can see that it dropped the polyboard, so we got the thing we needed to run. So we already have everything we need. Uh, I really want to be, however, level 5 before we actually leave this place. So. Yeah, let's repair, let's save. This was an easy fight, actually. And let's just get 110 X XP. Shouldn't be too hard to get it within the next uh, few fights. There we go. As I said, I can always just cut this little bit, which, which is what I will probably do, so it doesn't get annoying for you. You see, I really like to do good jobs and like it's not just a matter of posting a video on YouTube. You have to appraise who, whoever I think uh, is watching my videos. And I have a very simple way of viewing life. It's like if uh, I don't do the others, the, the thing I think uh, is not good for me. I don't think it's funny to see a video of another person riding, so if I feel it's just it's just a bit a big too large bit, I'll probably just uh, cut that little bit. But we'll see. It's just really a matter of uh, uh, taking a look how much the video duration is. And and more importantly, if I see that there are things happening, or if it's a very big annoying stuff, uh, well, I'll probably cut. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, just need four or five more experience. Well, it's just a gear fly. Come on, give me a gear fly. Give me, give me, give me a gear fly. Two. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Not gonna complain. And one. 
that. And the other. And we reached level 5. So now, as we have to do two more reflex, one more technique. That's enough grinding for today. No more grinding. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get to Tequila Village and inform our boy Ron that we got these parts. So, do you have the parts yet? I have them! Excellent! Is here something for your reports? I got 300 credits. What are these parts for? Well, the situation is like this. Callisto called this morning while she was doing bridge maintenance. One of the sprouts damaged the auto extender at the bridge of the Endless Gorge. Again, that's the third time this month. That's what I told her. In any case, she needs a replacement macro chain, so I'm building her one right now. So that's why you need these parts. Yes, but we're not done yet. We're not. Now I'm going to need three small chunks of plasma rock. Oh, that's right, full from the for the macro chain. But don't you already have some in the garage? Those are already encapsulated, I need it in the raw form. Ah. Come on, you are stupid, just take them out of the clan capsules, I don't really know. <laughs> just to give us work. Oh yeah, I also found this chassis so far from a derelict mobile weapon in the scrapyard. Thought you might uh, have some use from it, for its own. An Avenger model. Leave it here first. I'll need the core system too before I can actually do something, uh, anything with the chassis. For now, let's just worry about the plasma rock. Okay, I'll get right to it. Oh, 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 on a minute, uh, DK. We're going to need some help on this. Billy, get over here, boy. Be right over there, Mr. R. Oh, Billy Barrage is here. He came here in with his mobile weapon last night. Uh, but uh, how would Billy help in this case? The reason is simple. On Asero Wisely, we get Plasma Rock mainly from the last blue mines. Billy's mobile weapon has more power than yours because you are a pussy and then you are a noob and you are weak. <laughs> Sorry, DK. Uh, so I can easily, it can easily break down any obstacles in the mines. Okay, okay. Besides, the mines are a dangerous place. Having another person to go with you wouldn't hurt. What's up, Mr. R? Oh, hey, DK. Hey, Billy. How have you been? Never been better. Mr. R did the bang up repairing my mobile weapon last night. Billy, I was wondering if you could have DK out. I need to get three small chunks of plasma rock from the Laszlo mines. Callisto fleecing the bridge. Yeah, he's explaining what's why. Sure, of course I'm going to help. I'm, uh, I was heading back to Acero Terminus anyway. I can't go with the bridge down. Besides, I've dealt with mines before. Oh, that's right. Your dad was working the mines, didn't he? Yep. You two better get one. If I know Galisto, she's probably getting frustrated from the waiting right now. Right, let's go, DK. Uh, let's not go. Let's first augment so I don't have to repair. And now I kind of want to buy an even better generator for me. Uh, 1100, and we just have enough. So let's just buy. So yeah, generators are important. With better generator, you are able to do more attacks. So let's just replace this, and we give the old ones to uh, Barash. So yeah, you got another boy to join our party. And yeah, I would say that this is enough for the first episode of this playthrough. Hope you are enjoying it so far. I'm definitely enjoying replaying this game. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let's just save now. There you go. As I said, thank you so much for watching. And see you around for the next one. Bye bye.